Hey everyone and welcome back to Prefusion. So today we have Deepto with us. He's a final year student and he has achieved great rank from gate 2025 in the EC branch. So yeah, Deepto, please uh, introduce yourself to our viewers and then we'll further discuss about your preparation. Hello everyone, I am Deepto. I am currently in final year in Institute of Engineering and Management in the Electronics and Communication branch. So this year I have given GATE and also appeared for GATE in my third year and I have had achieved a rank of 511 in my third year itself in electronics branch. Okay, so yeah, in the third year also you, you achieved a very good rank actually. So basically, yeah, can you share your uh, preparation journey and like what motivated you, you to pursue GATE? Like in, from the third year itself you have been given GATE, so what has, motiv what has been the motivation for it? Yes, from my first day of college only, I was uh, very motivated to get into a respectable institution like the IITs and NITs that I could not able to join in my JE days. Therefore, I started my preparation from the third semester by taking by taking some co online coaching and prepared for prepared for at, uh, for like one and a half years and gave get twenty twenty three. Okay, okay, okay. That's like good. And like, uh, so, so in in this year, what did you do? Like, twenty twenty three, you were preparing from scratch. So in this year, what uh, strategy you took? You prepared from scratch again, or you just uh, prepared whatever you didn't couldn't finish the uh, previous year? No, no. In twenty twenty three, I have completed almost the full syllabus. So this year, I haven't done actually anything special. I only revised and brushed up the concepts and did okay. some questions and gave tests. That's it. Okay, okay. So uh, basically, uh, yeah, that's a good strategy. Actually, if you have finished everything, then you can obviously only do focus on revision because that is what uh, uh, part I think one part what most of the aspirants miss out on. Like they do all the concept and then forget to prepare, like forget to give the test series and practice questions. So uh, that's a yeah. good thing. So uh, like, uh, how did you manage your time that effectively? Like you had your college also, you had to give your exams also, semesters also, you had to go to the labs also. So how did you, uh, how were you able to manage the time? Of yeah, since, since uh, may, uh, maximum of the gate subjects coincides with the college syllabus, therefore it wasn't it was easy for me to finish the extra topics in college that wasn't much and give the semester exams. And also there was liberty in my college according to the attendance matter and my professors also helped me in my great gate preparation in this matter. Therefore I didn't okay, face okay. such problems. Then you are, I must say you are very lucky. You're very lucky. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, that's, uh, that's a good thing. That's how, yeah, that's how what strategy I also followed. I also study Sam engineering according to my college or whatever going on. That's a good thing. So like, uh, uh, now can you tell me like anything particular, which you thought, thought of during your preparation, like, uh, any particular strategy you used to tackle any concept or any, uh, good things that you learned from this whole uh, preparation journey? You can explain to our viewers. Yes, uh, there were many tough subjects like communication, EMFT, and analog electronics. Especially in communication electronics, I have to refer more than one teacher because I could not understand even after studying the whole subject once and giving it around two months also. Therefore, since I had time, I had started early. Therefore, I had the liberty to study once again. And in case of analog electronics, that was mainly question based. Therefore, I practiced questions from different sources and different workbooks. And EMFT also, I had preferred more than one teacher and finally got to crack the subjects. Okay. So, like, uh, is it prefer, if it suggest, like, can you, do you suggest to following more than one teacher for subjects? Uh, is, it, is that like a good thing or like is that, that a bad thing? Like, what do you think? No, I actually don't think it's a very bad thing because uh, if you have the chance to start early, then you can experiment with your preparation and you don't have to fully watch the subject from the other teacher. You can actually refer the topics that you are facing difficulties. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. I think I think what you should do is like uh, what now this can um, like this method can only follow. I think smart student can follow this. Basically, if you you first you follow like the basic subjects. I don't think you need to follow too much to two teachers. One oh. teacher will be fine. I think for normal subjects, but the practical subjects, as you tell, right? The communication system, the UFT. Those I think, as you uh, like I said, that if you are facing difficulty in a particular topic, then you can go to the topic. But the problem will be that your current teacher will follow some other notation, and the that new teacher will follow some other notation. But if you are able to cope up with it, that's no issue. But only if, if you are facing a difficulty in this topic, then you should move on. Else, you should not, I think, go to the next teacher. Like that is, uh, yeah, I yeah. think, a good uh, balance you should keep, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So. So yeah, Deepto. So if uh, let's say someone like I, I am starting my preparation from scratch. Okay, I want to start my gate prep from scratch for two zero two five. So what will be your suggestion? How what should be your uh, like uh, like good suggestion to 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 me? So for students who are starting the preparation, so I would tell to not only focus only on the PYQs. But also go deep deep into the concept because considering the electrical paper of 2023 and this year the electronics paper that was really conceptual. So so dive deep into the concepts and understand the concept with clarity rather than only studying PYQ based. Yeah, basically, you what you are saying is you have to uh, like learn the concept thoroughly. If you just go over the things, like go over all, and the yeah, I have learned the concept, then I will solve the PIQs. That's it. But it doesn't yeah. work that way, right? They will just twist the question, and you will be get stuck. This year, like many questions have come up like that. Like I said, it's a yeah. very good paper. So yeah, that that thing is correct only. So yeah, I I will, I will also suggest that only go in depth into that uh, concept. Just not uh, like remember all the formulas, mug all the formulas, and then you go to exam hall, you will you won't be able to answer anything. So yeah, that is one thing. So basically, uh, you started very early, actually. So throughout this, what motivated you to like keep on studying? And many students like lose their lose out their motivation and stuff. Many students get depressed sometimes for the preparation. What motivated you, basically? And like sometimes, let's say you are giving test series, and uh, like what type of marks? I don't know. You got if you have got low marks, then what motivated you during that time? Or if you have high high marks, what uh, things you kept in mind to get high marks? You can explain. So considering the test series. in the test series the subject wise tests uh, con- consists of questions that con- constitutes of multiple concept questions so making them wrong can be a possibility but you have to maintain a mistake copy so that you do not repeat those mistakes again in the full length test so or uh, like yeah yeah hmm yeah so revising the mistake copies periodically before the Full length test will give you an edge over the others, and that's how I tackled the test. And considering motivation, so the from my first day only, I saw the dream of getting into an IIT. So that's only motivated me. Yeah, IIT is like a dream of everyone. First, my knowledge. So uh, basically, like I also kept a mistake copy during my time. So uh, what were your test series mark? Were it like uh, very good uh, or medium? Or sometimes you also get you should get low. Like how was the marks of test series? No, during during the subject wise test, my marks were low, and it uh, on with on fifty I got around twenty five. In some tests, I got even less as ten also. On fifty, so okay, okay, okay. So because I had experience from the past year, so therefore I didn't consider it much. I learned from the mistake and implemented it in the full length test. So in the full length test, I didn't have any much problem. Okay, yeah, okay. Full length test, uh, you didn't have much problem. Yeah, subject wise, I also used to get a pretty low, but full length, I used to get medium marks, not like too uh, too high, but I used to get medium marks. And I, I think to I should say to viewers, uh, it's fine if you get medium marks, but yes, you just yes. have to improve. Like as you as you told, right? You have to keep your mistake copy, and from there just uh, daily revise whatever mistakes I'm making. Uh, did you also uh, like uh, write short notes, or you just uh, always prepare from the full note itself, like? No, no. I have made a copy during every time revision. I have I scribbled something on the copy. So due because I when I revised only while reading the copy, I didn't feel much engaged. So I used to write something, write the formulas or do a sum on the copy while I revised. So that became my short notes during the last okay, week of okay. the exam. 
Okay, you just didn't create any short notes uh, specifically. Okay, didn't uh, use that time. You just uh, whatever is scribbled during your preparation that only you used as your short notes. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. a good idea also. That was our viewers can do. What whichever suits uh, like you that you should follow. So yeah, so basically now like uh, your preparation is done. So what did you do during your last last few days of the preparation? Because many aspirants get uh, pit, uh, pretty like frightened or so uh, nervous during the few final few days. And like, how was your final day? Like exam experience? What happened during exam day? If you have any story to share, you can share. Yes, during the final days, I I stopped giving test at least a week before the exam, and I revised the for the scribbled notes that I made so like the short notes that consisted of the whole subjects in one place so and also i revisited the pyqs and the mistake copy also so since the first first exam was instrumentation only so i got to know about the difficulty level that this year paper would be very conceptual and not only for formula based so that's why i we revisited the difficult concepts during the week before my ec paper and that's how i spent at the last day, days and during the exam when i opened the first the aptitude portion the aptitude questions also seemed quite lengthy to in the first glance so i left the two or three question that seemed lengthy lengthy and solved almost the aptitude questions and when i went to the technical ones they seemed very tough to me so i got to i solved those the comparatively easier questions at the first i during i could not revisit the other questions because the paper was lengthy also and conceptual also so i solved the question as it goes on and during the last half an hour i revisited my mark for review questions i could solve one or two and then i then time was over only because it was a lengthy paper yeah yeah it was a very difficult paper i think you follow the correct strategy only because many students what they used to do is try to solve the tough question first and they mess up their examination completely you shouldn't do that whatever question you find easy and you you are familiar with these concepts you should solve those first and then you move on to the most difficult question at the later stage as he explained right? as tip to explain so yeah it was a, like a very good experience to like talk with you and have a chat with you so yeah so uh, lastly you can conclude like what are your future plans and stuff you already told right you want to join iit and stuff so you can conclude yeah. and yeah then we can finish this uh, interview yes yeah, so from the first day only my the target was to join an iit but uh, that time i also didn't uh, explore the op- various opportunities that this great exam offers so now i so during after the last year attempt i came to know that there are many public sector undertakings that offer their recruitment directly using this gate score so i may consider that option also to work under a psu or and later join mtech as there is no age limit but i will join mtech at some point of my life because it was my first dream only yeah okay so you want to complete it yeah that was a very good answer like yeah so yeah thank you dipto for coming to perfusion and we wish you all the best for your future thanks thank you